Pinchy Al here from Pinchy Al's Garage and on today's episode we got an unboxing here to do and we're unboxing some big horsepower for a 1.8T from Integrated Engineering. One of my favorite companies out there for Mark IV 1.8T platforms because they know what they're doing when it comes down to making power on a 1.8T. So let's do some unboxing today because this is Pinchy Al's Garage and this is brought to you by actually by Integrated Engineering. So let's roll that sweet footage. Now on today's uh, unboxing from Integrated Engineering or Performance by IE uh, is a really 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 important part uh, of our Corrado build and that is I don't know what do you guys think it is you tell me you know what it is we're gonna open it up because I want to show you guys what this is yeah oh man so you get a gasket with it whoop de doo <laughs> Ooh, and it's black and it's pretty oh man and some more gaskets and a bunch of fittings and things all inside of the packaging alright nothing else so we're going to lay the box back down here we go an intake manifold from Integrated Engineering, powder coated black, beautiful, beautiful piece of hardware here, and it's massive. Um, these guys designed this manifold for super, super high flow. And again, as the other manifold that we had on our channel, similar style where it tapers down to the end on cylinder number four to benefit from all the. Um, extra air because on Mark IV's cylinder number four is actually the poorest breathing cylinder on here um, so you don't get maximum performance out of your car. Integrated Engineering designed it so you get all your main power right into here while everything else gets evenly dispersed. Phenomenal, phenomenal intake uh, manifold here and we got tons of little uh, ports right here on the side, uh, all threaded ready to go. On the bottom, nothing here, there's no holes pre-made, so that's great. Um, and then we got it for a factory throttle body right here, for the factory uh, uh, throttle body. One of my favorite things about this manifold too, is that it's reversible. You can grab it, turn it to the other way, and use it on the other side. Um, this thing, this sucker is heavy, but it's beautifully casted. I love how the hardware, how it looks on here. I mean, it's everything about this manifold is like one of my favorite things. The uh, injector cups are not like the standard Mark IV ones. Uh, they're actually already pre. Uh, designed to press right in and seal beautifully with factory size o-rings using uh, aftermarket injectors that fit the factory size hole that way they're ported all the way down that way you don't have to worry about leaky injector cups like on the mark IV uh, factory uh, intake manifold so one of my favorite things about this now the Corrado we're actually going to flip the manifold to the right uh, because of how we're going to do our intercooler setup so uh, this allows us to uh, benefit a lot for our, for customization on our intake manifold. So very important. So let's see what else comes in the box. So we have our uh, German um, intake manifold gasket. Very very important. Not cheap stuff. Let's see here. We got a survey card. A koozie, we got a koozie, that's freaking cool. I've never gotten a koozie from anybody, so that's cool. Um, extra piece of uh, bolt, a bolt here, throttle body gasket in the box, and then it comes with a bunch of fittings for your, um, for your manifold, and more than likely these are going to be fittings for 
uh, the vacuum lines that sit over here on the side. So one of my favorite things about this uh, manifold is that they have this really sweet um, setup uh, right out of the box that comes out. I'll just show you guys. It, it makes more sense to show you guys than, um, than to explain it. Uh, it it's really, really cool. Um, I had this manifold on my Mark IV. Um, I lost it though in the fire, which sucks. I wish I had the money I can get one of these because I would love another one of these in my car. Um, so right here is a T-fitting, uh, A-in fitting setup right here. So you, you thread this back in. Super cool. So you have that threaded in. Then, like for your brake system right here, this is for your brakes. You screw that in here. like that and then you can either use these fittings for, um, for vacuum lines so say if you have your boost gauge your um, your fuel your fuel pressure regulator so they have this other one down here this one's really neat. Like I said, it's like a 90 degree. So if you want to like hide your lines a little bit better, you can thread this one in. Kind of. I think you have to thread this one in first before you pop this one in. Not 100% sure, but we'll see right now. I'm excited for this manifold. There we go. So you would thread this guy in and thread this one up here. And you can plumb all your stuff that you need. So if you have anything else that requires a vacuum line, this is the way to do it. Or if you want to convert them to A and fittings, you can do that as well, which we are going to do on this car. We're going to convert most of these lines to an A and fitting for vacuum lines because I want to dress up the bay a bit more. Uh, they provide you with a really nice uh, T. A vacuum line T so if you rock your fuel injector and a boost gauge all at the same time you can use this as well so they provide a lot of good stuff right out of the box it is one of the more expensive uh, intake manifolds on the market but for good reason guys ie got it down got this down now one thing again um, you do have to buy on top of it which I have here if you have a standard size intake uh, port you have to get the plenum adapter here now this adapter converts it from big port to small port because all IE's manifolds are big port so you have to convert it from the big to the small port so you can bolt it onto an AWP head uh, it isn't a, an extra charge for that uh, adapter plate but again it's well worth it when this plate number one has two benefits uh, first it's going to drop your uh, your temperatures so uh, because it's a spacer so heat will not transfer as much from the engine to the manifold so number one your your heat will your manifold will not pretty much bake and have super hot temperatures in going into your engine so that's a big benefit right there so that's already a performance increase number two uh, obviously it's going to fit correctly so they have these awesome machine parts uh, out of uh, this special type of plastic so again it does its job and you can adapt it to a small port or a big port uh, head so super super cool now if you guys are interested in one of these definitely recommend going to integrated engineers website um, I'll post the link down below or up in the cards phenomenal product uh, very very cool I'm very happy that we were able to show this off and show you guys that this is a really really great product for you guys especially for you guys looking for big horsepower numbers this manifold will help you achieve very big horsepower numbers, especially because now you'll have even uh, airflow and pressure across all injector range, all and cylinders, so all of your fuel injectors work properly and correctly. So maximum horsepower, phenomenal uh, intake manifold, guys. Thank you for tuning in for this really short unboxing, and we'll show you guys some more products down the road.
Peace out, everyone, and have a wonderful day. Hey, everyone. Pinchy out here. And we got more boxes to unbox from Integrated Engineering, or also known as Performance by IE. Uh, they have been very, very gracious enough to hook us up with some products. Uh, so uh, this whole unboxing is brought to you by Integrated Engineering. So let's roll that sweet footage so you guys can see what they're all about. So um, about a week ago, I talked to Alex from uh, Integrated Engineering and Kyle, or I know I'm sorry, he's not Kyle, Tyler, um, and we told him about our super sweet Corrado build that we're doing here, and that we're giving away after we're done building. So they were very interested. So they're definitely uh, helping us out. Not anything for free. I'm just so you guys know, none of this has been actually free. We still paid for a lot of this product. Um, but they're very interested in what we do. So this is why we're doing a lot of unboxings for their products because number one, I am a firm believer of Integrated Engineering's products because they started out with the 1.8T market. And the 1.8T is one of the, um, how can you say, one of those engines that just is super close to my heart. And this is my favorite engine in the world. So I buy, whenever I can get uh, integrated engineering parts, I invest in buying in their products because they make very good products. So without further ado, let's unbox this some stuff here. So I don't know what's in what, so let's find out. Let's see what we got here in this box. Ooh. Anything else here? Nope. All right, let's move this box over. We're not going to unwrap anything until we open everything up. Oh, man. A lot of little goodies here. this is. I don't know what I ordered sometimes. Some of the things I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Woo. That's important. <laughs> All right. Let's move this stuff over here. Okay. So there's a lot of stuff here. So we're going to look through it together. Okay, guys. So let's start off with this what's in red. And right here, as you can see, we got Audi R8 coil packs, 2.0T uh, ignition coils. Uh, we got four of them, so we know, uh, the reason why I go to a 2.0 uh, coil pack, number one, cost. They're way more cost effective than a factory 1.8T ignition coil. So you're saving money by actually going to a 2.0T coil. At the same time, you're spending a little bit more money because you have to buy adapter plates to make these fit correctly, um, especially to fit snug on top of your, uh, uh, your valve cover. So. It's kind of a win-lose situation. You get a lower cost coil, but you gotta spend more money. But over time, you save more money because you're spending less money if these ever fail on you. So it's kind of a win-win right there. So there's that. Right here in this package where we got hardware, we're gonna open up one side. So let me grab some scissors here. So I wanna open up the entire package. And these are, these are pretty. These are the integrated engineering uh, coil, ignition coil um, uh, plates. So what these allow you to do is to mount your uh, 2.0 T coil and have them fit actually properly and snug onto your, uh, onto your valve cover that does not allow a 2.0 T coil pack. So very, very nice, beautiful black, ionized uh, black. So I'm um, very happy with this product. And they provide you with polished hardware, so that's going to look beautiful in the, in the engine bay once we get everything painted. Uh, I'll just slide that over and we'll clean up the packaging after, afterwards. This right here is the ARP crank bolt, I mean a uh, cam bolt. Very, very important bolt uh, during your build process. This is a very, very strong bolt in comparison to the factory uh, cam bolt will hold your gear in place way more uh, strongly. Very, very highly recommended when you start building a high horsepower engine so you don't have uh, failures where you 
could fail because you're using factory hardware. So very, very great product, very affordable, and a very easy upgrade in your, uh, on your engine. Here's an ARP crank bolt. Yet another very, very important product uh, for your high horsepower 1.8T. This adds a lot more extra force onto your crank gear. So again, when you're up to those high horsepower numbers, one part you don't want to fail on you because you have to rebuild your entire or buy a whole new motor if that ever fails. Ooh, this one. Now this is an interesting one. This is for your big turbo guys, the oil pan AN10 adapter right here. Uh, this is what you need to rock an AN10 fitting on your oil pan without actually tapping and drilling your oil pan to make one fit. Uh, Integrate Engineering designed one that literally just bolts on to your oil pan and makes life a lot easier. They provide the proper gasket and bolts that you need to do the job. Awesome, awesome product here. You don't understand guys, everything I buy from IE is to make your life and my life a lot easier uh, during this build. Uh, this is the combi uh, block off plate or uh, just a EGR block off plate from Integra Engineering. It's got a nice little engraving on there from IE. Hard to see, hopefully you guys can see that, but that's an engraved. They give you the provided O-ring and again, beautiful uh, hardware here um, for putting this all together. Now they did mention that there's some parts that are not all here, so we're waiting for. Um, this is actually a two-piece one. I gotta grab the other part for you guys. Uh, but this is the um, integrated engineering fuel pressure regulator adapter for rocking their fuel rail on the car. So I'm gonna grab that. I actually have it here. I forgot to take that out. I actually opened the box. I didn't know what this was for. So the box is already open, but the product is not open. I haven't even opened the packaging to this yet. So this is the uh, the billet fuel rail from Integrated Engineering. Awesome product. A gorgeous piece of hardware when you uh, start upgrading your fuel system on your car. damage it just got it Ooh, look at this guys beautiful fuel rail high flow for your 1.8 T beautifully machined oh man a beautiful piece of hardware here guys and then here's the adapter here's the uh, fuel pressure regulator so we have to get a fitting for this guy right here. And then we have to convert this to, to a return line and then we gotta make another A in fitting. So we're gonna be making all these beautiful A in fittings inside the engine bay for this. It's gonna be gorgeous. You guys are gonna love this car once it's done. And last but not least, we got valves. We got Supertech valves, and these are what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these are the exhaust valves from Supertech that just came in. So now all we need now are the intake valves, and then these will be ready to go into our our uh, head so we can start building that so we got enough hardware uh, product here uh, to start building the bottom end of our 1.8 T and then once we're done with the bottom end when the rest of the uh, internals for the top come in which I honestly think is only the uh, the intake valves are left to show up and once those show up we can finish the the rest of the build but yeah this is the unboxing of all the awesome little goodies you guys can get from Integrated Engineering. Awesome, awesome, high performance products. 
good stuff. So, thank you guys from Integrated Engineering, especially Alex. And uh, I believe, again, I'm sorry if I missed your name, uh, but I think it's Tyler. I'm horrible with names, so I'm definitely putting that out there. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for the awesome customer service and speedy, super fast shipment. I didn't even ask for fast shipping, and I got this in less than four days. It's insane. Um, so we got more content coming uh, for you guys. So please, please stay tuned for this build because we got so much more content to come. Thank you and have a wonderful night, everyone.